Hello everyone and welcome to another video looking at World War One soldiers. The subject of this video is James Holland. James was born in 1884 at Malton in Cheshire to Samuel Holland and Mary Williams. His parents had three children. They had married in Northwich in 1875. In 1891, the family were living at 12 Chapel Street in Northwich, and his father worked as a shipwright. By 1901, the family had moved to 16 Flower Street in Northwich. His father was working as a ship carpenter. James worked as a cooper labourer at this time, a cooper being someone who makes barrels. In 1911, James was working as a domestic gardener and lived with his parents at 8 Oldham's Hill, Winnington, in Northwich. His brother and sister are not listed as living there at this time, so presumably had left home by then. His father was still working as a ship's carpenter. James enlisted on the 30th of August 1914 at Northwich. He was posted to the 10th Cheshires on the 15th of September 1914. He is described as being 5 feet 8 inches tall, with fair complexion and brown hair and brown eyes. He was promoted to Lance Corporal on the 29th of March 1915, but was demoted to private again on the 15th of June of that year. He was reduced in rank for slovenly conduct and refusing to obey an order given by military police. He did, however, have a previous conviction for overstaying a pass in March 1915. James was sent to France on the 26th of September 1915 and on the 12th of February 1916 was promoted to Lance Corporal again. In April 1916, fighting broke out with the Germans blowing up a mine under his company. After a short spell away from the trenches, his battalion was sent back to the front in early May. On the 8th of May, he was leading an advance party and had been told, along with four others, to uh, go to an old trench that wasn't used anymore and relieve that. He arrived there, along with the others, at about 2.30 in the morning. He was surprised by a pair of German soldiers that appeared in the trench. He ran back shouting that the position was overrun. However, the Germans ran away as well. He was arrested for cowardice and deserting his post. A number of witnesses were at his trial one of them stating that he hadn't seen him at a lecture a few days previously that Captain Ellerton had given, although James wasn't reported as absent. During the lecture, the captain had said that the outposts must be held at all costs, and if anything unusual happened, the NCO was to send a man back to report. In his defence, it was stated that he was an efficient soldier in the field. However, he was convicted and sentenced to death, the execution being carried out at 3.38am on the 30th of May 1915. His mother died in 1917 and his father died in 1925. They were never told the truth about their son's death. The chaplain wrote to the, his parents, saying that he was killed by debris from a shell explosion. Presumably the reason for this was, at the time, uh, soldiers that were shot at dawn, there was a very real stigma about uh, cowardice. And even, even now, there are some that still feel that the soldiers deserved their fate. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in a future video.